Huh. I think it was here. Patience is a virtue. Oh, hey! Hi! Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. Hey. How's it? What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh... Soy meat. Okay. Don't know. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Come on, V. This an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better Randy, hold her up. He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally, that was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound. Might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but... Feels like a clean break for him. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning... Normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well... Wanted you to see this side of me too. Honestly? Thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told Basmati. him. Basmati, nice. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now. About Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. 
River. Oh, my parents died. Oh, you sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But... When now? You're not going back to the PD? P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing. Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Could be fun. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too. Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time. Retired two times. And kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's coolies! Not, not half bad. <laughs> Mix 
next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey! Food's on the table. So? Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah! The bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Probably asked you to say that himself, didn't he? Wow. How did she know? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks V and Uncle River make a good couple? <laughs> I do. <laughs> v just voted. Well, that's decided. 
Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you? Your peace? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. Don't know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Cause maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I, sitting at a diner. Five minutes he gapes at me. Not a word. Then drops that bomb. Oof. <laughs> So I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on the shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird, he was spilling, and then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. He should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. 
You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's. Before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Too late. Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck a cop. Gonna go plug my hey. ears, gouge out my eyes. Hey. Coffee will be ready in a jiff. <sighs> oh, cream. Talked in your sleep, you know? Yeah. I dreamt of a warehouse, searching containers in it. Warehouse must have been huge. <laughs> you were loud. Taste it. Best coffee you've ever had, I bet. Best jambalaya, best coffee. Mm hmm Come on, keep it coming, and... Just that. So, I've been thinking. What? Last night, you and me. Is this going anywhere, you know, longer term? Listen, River. What happened... It was real. It was good. But... I can't make any plans for the future. There's this thing... That you couldn't tell me about. I know. Call it veteran cop intuition. It's why I tried to tell you something yesterday. About myself. To give me courage? Boost it? Oh, no. So you'd know exactly how fucked up I am. Give you a chance to consider if you even want me. So it's my turn now. You got it. Wasn't just me you spent the night with. Sharing headspace with a construct I caught like some disease. All because of an experimental Arasaka biochip. Construct? You mean like somebody's mind? Mm-hmm. 
An engram of Johnny Silverhand. Yes, that Silverhand. And it's getting worse. But... Sorry, still not following you. You're talking to V right now. But tomorrow, this could be a self-obsessed dickhead rocker boy. And trust me, you don't want to talk to him. How is that even possible? He's displacing my own neural net, River. Gradually destroying my brain. But it's reversible, right? Uh, there's no way it could actually kill you. Actually, doesn't look promising. Need to excise him. Get him out of my brain before it's too late. Shit. Still want to be my boyfriend? Who do you take me for? Of course I do. This doesn't change a thing. Question is, what do you want? Are you willing to give this a shot? This works, River. I like being around you. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. But if it doesn't work, we'll still be friends, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator? You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah. Now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. Don't mind me. And tell Randy I said hello. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, V. Will I see you later? Yeah, sure. Have a good day, then. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs turning. I'm supposed to do that. I know it sounds, but this one time, please. <laughs> <laughs>